Okay. I'm going to show you how to wire a uh, on-off switch, basically. I'm using it for lights. Uh, you can see there's a light there and there's a light there. I don't have them all wired. Those are just uh, portable lights that are lit right now. So anyway, obviously you're going to run your wires from your lights, machine, whatever you're doing, it doesn't matter. You're going to bring it in and you're going to tie it all together like this. Okay, even though this a little one uh, even though it's one of my cats even though right now the power is the power is going straight through so if you actually walked over to a light switch to a light see how you can just manually turn it on and off okay okay but you want to do it with a switch you can also do you can also add a motion sensor to it uh, also. Okay, what you're going to need is a console and a power control. Right there, see? Console, power control. Those are the only two things you need. So you want to mount your, you can see there's, only, see there's only one input uh, for your console. Alright, then you're going to insert your board. Grab a piece of glass. Okay, did you get that? And then you're gonna finish the box with a piece of glass. Now, you have to program this. I've already programmed it. But just for the sake of programming it, we're going to show you. Now, you'll turn it on. And this would be flashing an error code. Okay. See how, oops, back off. Okay, like right now. Okay, without the card in it, you flip the power. You see, nothing's happening. It's flashing error code. See, it will not work because you have to program it. It has to know, oh, you want me to turn on? So you put your data disk in, which your system comes with that. Now, these are the three things that the network can see. And if you think about it, that's all that's hooked up. There's a transformer over there in the corner and the two lights. So it's always going to show you if it's, in a, if it's in a gray area, you can still see it, but it won't be able to be controlled. So you turn it, highlight the two lights, see how they little green? You can disable manual operation, but we want it auto. And you see how that immediately turned off. Let me show you again. See? So we're going to turn both lights on, and this would be whatever kind of equipment you're using. Okay, now, see, hold on a second, I gotta get this out of here. All right, let's try that again. See, oh, wait a minute. switch and you can do the set you can do that for whatever you want um, I'm gonna add another light down here um, you know what we can do that real quick make the video a little bit longer so I kind of patch in another light these are your lights you can see they're wall but you can mount them on the ceiling that's one style you just I just use the scroll button on my mouse to uh, change uh, and you can see that is also an angled one, which I have used, and then there's a wide one. Now, if you look at it, you can see that little plus. Okay, that's telling you that's your power output. I like to have mine all hooked the same direction. Okay, now, see how easy that was. Now, we'll remember take your wire cutters and your wire in both hands. And I should. And I will have to go up by the road. Here's your jetpack. You can turn my light on. See, now you want to splice these together. Okay. This is 
is the new light I just put in. Knock it, make an elbow. And just run it down. Bam, and you see the lights flash for a second? So I know that that light came on. There you go. Simple. Well, I don't like it. This this light should be over one. It's not even. I'm one of those idiots that likes everything even. Um, well, actually, what I should... Oh, wait a minute. I've got one right there. That hasn't been hooked up yet. So I'm back up on the roof. Oops. Here's our jetpack. And we'll tie it to it. simple and like I say with your uh, wire strippers having them along with you in one hand while you have the wire in the other it automatically will make any adjustments for you which is pretty sweet See the light just came on. There you go. So you can see, simple. And like I say, you don't have to. You you can use that for anything you want. You can even get fancy and make a three-way. Put another one down here and tie them together. So you can even do that. Looks like a construction zone, right? It's got some crap laying everywhere. <laughs> and then, bam. There you go. Wait a minute. These ones should not. Oh, see how the, I added these two lights and they're still on. And you think, oh man, why aren't they going off? And if you put your little data disk in, say, add that one, add that one. Now when I flip the switch, whoops, wrong button. Now because those are, those are already on, to get them to work properly. So they'll work just the opposite if you notice. Like if you want to leave one of them on for night light. See how the one stays on? Because it's wired different. If you use it as a night light, hit your power button. And it goes off. So that's how simple it is. See now I'm not using it as a night light, so they all went off. Those other lights, like I say, are portable lights I was using during construction. This whole area is going to be uh, enclosed, so I will show you how to do a... Uh, what's low? Ooh, CO2 and filters are empty. But anyway, that shows you how simple it is. So we'll, uh, if you like it, hit the bottom right uh, thumbs up, and hit the bottom right corner to uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, there you go. Appreciate you watching. I'm really hoping these are helpful.